guys, it's Ruby from Oofy Scraps, and today I wanted to take you through my 2022 Week in the Life album. I thought it'd be fun to look back at what I did last year and talk with you guys a little bit about my plan for this year. If you're not familiar with Week in the Life, it's a seven-day documenting project um, led by Allie Edwards, and I am starting it on Monday, April 24th. I believe that's the day. And that's the week that the community is doing together. This is something you can do at any time. And I believe last year's was in June. So it's a little bit of a different time of the year, but this is my album from last year. So I just created this little book plate just in Canva. And this is the album that Allie provided for last year. And I have a little bit of product from her from last year as well in here. I didn't buy any new product this year, but we will talk more about that later. So I just put this little card, which you can kind of see, it's like tone on tone. And this is a, in a creative bubble digital card I had that I changed the color to match the album art in this album, I guess. And then this is a piece from the mini kit. I believe I got the mini kit last year and a couple add-ons. Um, so I just put the days. So it was from May, June 20th to June 26th. So I did use a bit of a formula, so I repeated the same thing somewhat for each day. So I started each day off with this transparency that was from last year, just says Mun for Monday. And then I started with a full page photo and I did a lot of journaling on the photos. And then I did this like four photo collage on the back of that full photo each day. And I tried to do my photos somewhat chronologically, but I also didn't lose sleep over it. So I did a lot of, here, I'll take this out of the page, or out of the album. A lot of these skinny page protectors, and I have the little Monday sticker. That's something I also repeated, and I put a little puffy sticker, I think, on a lot of these. So just, like, random little photos from throughout the day. And then I did a longer journaling for just giving an idea of most of the day. And I did that typed up, and I did repeat this, you'll see. I also used these cute little frames that Allie gave last year. I think this is like the main reason I bought the kit. I'm pretty sure these came in the mini kit. And I also did some handwritten journaling. So one thing I did have a hard time with last year was horizontal photos. I tend to take portrait photos. So some of the days I did this like two portrait style photos instead of one horizontal. But on the next page, you can see I have a horizontal one. So this is just me scrapbooking, life. This is what's in my shower, what's in my medicine cabinet. Um, summertime walks. I also use the little hearts from the kit and I stamped the date. Evening walks and then talked about some food I was eating. And some, so this is like a really beautiful lunch and this is ramen for dinner. <laughs> that was like instant ramen. And then taking the trash out Monday night. That's something I do every Monday. And then Tuesday, another full page photo, the book I was reading, brushing my teeth, another salad. And then you could see my dog Hazel a lot. My days often start with getting out of bed to take her outside because, you know, she's got to go outside. And I talked a lot about how it's a nice start to my day because even though sometimes I don't want to get out of bed, she drags me out and then I'm outside in the sun. And it's a good start to the day. Uh, this time last year was when the Allie Edwards Christmas December Daily Collection was coming out. So I was watching a live stream about products. And then our other dogs. I really like this card. A lot of these cards are from In a Creative Bubble. Just printable. So this is morning, afternoon, and evening. Talking about what happened in that day. Um, and then I did the one word for today thing. This card's... I don't remember if this was an add-on or if it was in the mini kit, but I just used my little Dymo label maker and picked a word for the day. This was summer solstice. So we took a little dip in the pool. It was super beautiful out. And then I also um, was taking Pilates classes at the time, which was super fun. So there was like a free promo for Father's Day where you could bring a guy in. I mean, presumably your father. I brought my boyfriend. Um, and they could have a free class. And we both did... We competed in track in college, division one. We played sports our whole lives. And my boyfriend got his butt kicked in the beginner Pilates class, which was kind of funny. And I love this photo of my shower with all the bathing suits hanging, just like evidence of summer, that time of year. Sorry, there's a huge glare. There's our tiny dog, Moto. Wednesday, my big full page photo was me in the garden. Our garden was like 
going off at this time last year. We haven't even started the garden this year. Um, so I really like that photo. The big photo wasn't always the first photo in the day. So like the other two, Monday and Tuesday, were photos taken in the morning. This was definitely in the afternoon. But um, I just chose my favorite photo that I thought would do really well blown up big. So that's what I did for that. And then Wednesday, I didn't have very many photos. So I didn't have the little grid. I didn't have enough photos to make that. So I just did this one. Um, it's of my hands. I'm just talking about painting my nails. I love painting my nails. It's something I do all the time. Some people think it's super annoying to do. I find it very therapeutic. So I'm just talking about that here. This was listening to a podcast while cleaning up and decluttering. Um, this was me recording a video. More food. More working out. Car rides with Hazel. Steven gaming, Hazel on top of clean clothes, like all these normal things. Another photo of me reading. And again, like this week, I did a lot of creative photo taking, which I think is something I really liked about this project where I'm often documenting big moments like trips and birthdays and holidays and events. But this was trying to make everyday life photos creative and engaging and interesting and looking at things from a perspective I normally wouldn't. So like this photo, for example. So like a photo like, sorry, I'm going backwards for a second. A photo like this, I would totally just take no matter what. But a photo like this, I would not normally take. But I set my camera up and I made the like angle and you know, it's staged in the sense that this wasn't a candid photo. I took this myself on self timer, but it's a cool memory. And it's seeing what were we growing? What was I doing? You know, what was I, involved in so this photo was me pretending to read i mean i'm not whatever hazel was looking at the camera it was perfect but it's a good memory and this book was from leilani scrap's first month of book club which now is like over a year no it's not over a year it's coming up on a year of being in rotation and it's something i really love doing and being a part of so it's a fun thing to remember that i normally wouldn't take a photo of here is another one of those little photos all about hazel <laughs> hazel when she first wakes up, Hazel when she goes outside, Hazel when she comes inside, Hazel asleep on the bed. And then this photo is about a family I was nannying for for the first time, and I've since nannied for them like a million more times. So that's crazy that that was so long ago. Um, and then just talking about chaos of the day, more journaling, and then I made these currently pages. So this is my currently like media reading listening to and watching and then this is my currently for like products so hair body and face and I still use some of these and I don't and this might not be the most like shocking thing or like something you normally document but I just thought it was a fun little thing to add in there and it worked perfectly on Wednesday where I was light on photos Thursday just kidding this is on Thursday and then Friday a really cute flattering selfie of being woken up and having to leave the house earlier than I thought. And then me taking out my compost, which is something that I have a love-hate relationship with. I love that I compost, I think it's awesome, but sometimes I hate it. So here is me doing that. This is me feeding Hazel and I taught her this little trick. When I put my foot out, it's like when I say paw, I put my foot out, she paws my foot, it's pretty cute. And then I was helping my mom make dog food and then this says, today was hard, tomorrow was a new day. And this is when the whole news broke about um, the abortion rights and all of that. So I filled this two by two with just things I saw on Instagram that day, some text messages, just all kinds of things that I was seeing, you know, all of that. And then I talked about highlights. It says, after this really difficult day, I was so looking forward to my Zoom with Leilani's Patreon book club. I've met so many wonderful people here. And it's just a photo of the first book club, which is so fun because I've done it, like I said, a billion more times since then. And then more journaling. Today was difficult. Photos of my dog eating a plant that he's not supposed to eat, but he looks so pretty with the pool and the sun. And then having a game night with friends. And then Saturday, here's us on the couch watching a show. And then more photos. There's a lot of photos of the dogs. Um, but it was sunny out. Hazel was having the best time running around outside. Tonga had his ball. This, I think, is my favorite photo from the entire week that I got. And I set it up on my tripod. 
um, but it's a photo of Steven and I. So this is my scrap desk, which is where you guys are positioned right now. We are looking down at it. And then my little laptop and all my stuff. And this is Steven for our anniversary. I bought him this huge curved screen and he plays video games on it. And this is so much of how we spend our downtime together. And we are totally immersed in our own things. But like, if I see something funny, I'll show him. Or if I'm working on a project I'm excited about, I'll turn around and have him look. And if, you know, he's talking to his friends, sometimes I he unplugs his headphones and we talk together. And it might not seem like the most like romantic, thoughtful time together because we're both sitting back to back doing our own things. But it's something I love that we both have our own interests that we can do together alone, if that makes sense. And I'm really glad I was able to document this. And I love this little setup. Obviously, we go do stuff together all the time. But when it's the weekend and we want to have a lazy morning, we go and just do our thing together apart, if that makes sense. So I really love that photo. And that's a photo I would not normally take, which is the coolest thing about this project. So yeah, this is Saturday. We had a slow morning and we had uh, my friend Olivia come over. And I think her boyfriend came over too. And we were playing cornhole. We made like fancy bagels. We went into the pool. And then we had lava cakes. And again, I used this photo that was earlier. My photo from earlier. That was my opening page photo. Just because it was part of the story I wanted to tell. And I don't mind that it's in here twice. So, yeah. And then the last day is Sunday. So, Stephen and I took Hazel to this really cute dog event. There's this company in the area I live that hosts, like, dog, event, which, dog events, which sounds ridiculous. And it kind of is. But it's really funny and fun. So, they, like... Well, this was at a matcha bar, which it was a matcha bar I really wanted to go to because I love matcha. And they were hosting a dog event. So it was like a perfect storm of the two things I've been wanting to check out. So Steven came with me and Hazel, of course. We got our cute little outfits on. Hazel got her little photos taken in front of the little like, what is it? Not a studio, but like the staged photo prop setup. And there's Hazel with her little dog treats and our two drinks we got. And then here's just another compilation of photos. This was talking about how expensive gas was. There's like a sign from Planned Parenthood that says abortion is still safe and legal. And then here's all my journaling. Picture of my outfit. I was so excited. I just bought this dress um, online from like a reseller. So I got that secondhand and I thought it was so cute. And then I went and visited my cousin. She's in high school and I'm always taking photos of her just to like document the time. And she's always annoyed. She's like, stop taking pictures of me because she's just a teenager. And I'm always like, one day you're gonna look back and be glad there's photos of you. So I love this photo. I had her, she was actually doing her makeup when I walked upstairs, but I had her continue. And so I could get this photo of like peeking into her room, which I thought this is another one of my favorite photos from the week. And then I just talked about how important it is and how fun it is to spend time with her. She lives just down the road. She's driving now. She's graduating high school this year. And I want to treasure the time I have living just a few minutes down the road from her. Some more just journaling about the day, sending out mail, Hazel's favorite bush, which happens to be, it's a mishmash of bushes, but there's a rose bush within this bush. So she always comes out with cuts on herself, but... She thinks this is where the lizards hangs out. So that's where she goes. Cutting up some watermelon. This is me going on a run. And I remember distinctively being like, I ran track in college. I've run competitively for eight years. And now I coach track and I run for fun basically. But that training mindset is so ingrained in me that when I go on my runs, I'm always running for time and for distance and to like meet these arbitrary thresholds and goals that I set for myself but I wanted to document it for a week in the life. And so I stopped and I set up self timers and ran past the self timer a bunch of times and took selfies. And there was a bunch of tomatoes smashed all over the ground. Like a bunch of kids like threw tomatoes or something. I don't know. And then just like documenting the sun hitting the trail I was running on. So my pace was really slow and I didn't make it very far, but it was an awesome way of documenting it and taking the time to slow down and appreciate something that I do so often. So, and then here's a little dusk photo in the garden. I was grabbing, I think, basil to make dinner. And then there's a photo of, oh, so Stephen and I were watching Outer Banks season two at the time, which is Outer Banks season three is already over. So, you know, memories. So this is like the end of the week. And then 
This actually happened on Monday, but I went and picked up birth control, which is free with my insurance. And I just walked into Costco, grabbed it and walked out. And I just wrote about how like a wrap up of the week and also just understanding my privilege and something I normally wouldn't think anything of, but after the events that happened in this week, really taking a second look at the world we live in, what's going on, my personal experience and how that's different from other people's experience and just practicing gratitude and just being aware of all those things. So that is the final thing in my week in the life. So I'm really happy with this last year's album. It's definitely not anything like I've ever done in an album. This is my first time doing Week in the Life. Um, I did really love the project. I still really love looking back on this album. I think I just want to pare it down a little bit this year. This was a very time consuming album to put together because of how many photos I had. I wanted to put them all in this formula that wasn't fitting, finding the right things. It just became complicated. So I want to have it a lot more simple this year. So I will grab you my album and I'm going to work in. So this year I'm going to be working in a Citrus Twist Life Crafted album. This little cute green one feels very good for spring, summertime. And the only thing I have in here are the full size page protectors with these, um, what are they called? Like acetate pieces from last year. So the ones that came in Allie's collection were 10 by eight and I trimmed them down to be full size outside of the page protector for a six by eight. And the leftover happened to be perfect for the inside of the full page protector of this three by eight album. I think it's three by eight, four by eight album. So that's what I have in here so far. And that's literally all I have. So I want to focus on taking either portrait style photos or landscape photos that will go sideways. I think I'll probably open it up each day with a photo like this. So that's something to think about because this is a very long place. But I want to do more photo grids like how these were. Um, one. More of, I think one was on Monday. Ones like this where it's just a bunch of photos together. This is in the Citrus Twist size page protector. And then just like, um, what is the word? Stream of conscience, conscious journaling. So it's just more simple, less about product. Not that I used a ton of product in this. I used just mostly just tried to use all of the mini kit. Um, and not, cause a lot of the photos I incorporated weren't necessarily like beautiful, amazing photos that I needed to have big and really like focused on. I just wanted to more have the memory that comes with that photo. So I don't mind if the photos are smaller. I think I will definitely get really pretty photos that I'll want to make bigger. So I'll have my full page photo probably opening each day. And then I'll have at least one, what's it called? One grid of photos and then one full page of journaling. And if I have more than that, I'll add more than that. But if not, it's no big deal. So I just want to, I want to capture all the memories I captured last year and have that experience of creative photography and documenting things from a different perspective and all of that. But I don't want the putting together of the album to be so difficult because it becomes a barrier to completing it. And then that's a barrier to having the memories actually documented in a way that I can look back on. So I invite you guys to work in a way that makes you excited for the project. And it might be that you get really excited and set up all these crazy things. And then as you're working, you pare it down and simplify. It might be that you start really simple to make it feel attainable and then you find yourself with more time or more energy to make it a little more creative so I just realized last year I love the album I love everything about it I just remember putting it together was so like mentally strenuous because I was figuring out which photos should go where what's the order what's the size how do I incorporate it where do I add the text all of that so I just want to pare it down and this is what's going to work for me and I'm really excited for it to be you know it's the same project but it's with a different approach and it'll be fun and it will be more memories documented. So that is going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next video. Maybe it'll be a week in the life flip through. Have a good rest of your day, guys. Bye.